Empire State Building. Yo, it's Z100, New York's number one hit music station. I'm Crystal Rosas. This is presented by Hackensack Meridian Health. Thank you so much. Maybe you or you will have to check in after the incredible thing that you guys just went through and are going through right now. You guys' first movie. Yes. Yes Theory. We have Yes Theory in the house. This is Amar. This is Anders. Um, you guys are both are obviously huge parts of what you guys are sharing. Um, the premiere that just happened in New York City a few weeks ago. Project Ice Man. First of all, congratulations. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you for having us. This is very special because, you know, we have we've been so focused on Finishing the film and running the premiere run that we haven't even done any PR. We haven't gone, done any interviews. So this is our first ever interview on this tour about the film with you. So Whoa. this is really, really special. Perfect timing. This yeah, is yeah. amazing. Um, well, let's first talk about Yes Theory because our audience may know one of the biggest YouTube channels. Um, a really positive fun, lighthearted, but also like sentimental journey that Yes Theory fans have been on. Amar, can you talk about Yes Theory seeking discomfort? Absolutely. Yes. Yes Theory is a, a global community and a YouTube channel that uh, I started along with my friends Matt, Thomas, and Darren seven years ago out of Montreal, Canada. And the journey had so many different phases and, and, and looks, but we now are Yes Theory. Um, we tell stories around seeking discomfort, around saying yes. We believe that the best things in life exist and happen when you step outside of your comfort zone. Um, and we've just been on a journey over the past seven years, as I said, of, of finding these stories around us, going through the experiences that will allow us to fully be metabolize that message and, and, and through what we share, hopefully inspire other people to do the same. Wow, saying yeah, the perfect husband material, ladies. The guys that just say yes all the time. Wow, Chris is the perfect wing woman. Amazing. <laughs> I love it. On to a great start. And then Amar, that that after your journey has brought you to a DM that led you to Anders and this oh, incredible journey of Yes Theory's first movie and Yes Theory's first sponsored person. Yep. Okay, let's let's talk about that. Amazing. Well, in when was it? Yeah, in, in 2019, about mid-2019, the summer, um, I started getting DMs on Instagram, people telling me that I should check out the younger, better-looking Iceman. Wow. And, and, and the reference here was that <laughs> at the beginning of that year, I had done my first uh, uh, medium-form doc uh, on Yes Theory, and it was about Wim Hof, uh, the, the Dutch OG Iceman who uh, developed a breathing technique and, and, and with the belief that cold exposure can do so much, he's been on a, just on a, on a quest to spread that message. So, you know, getting to do that with him and put, we put out a, a, a documentary that became very successful on YouTube. So people, you know, start building the association between Yes Theory and the ice world. So people were like, oh, you should check this guy out. You should see, see what he's up to. And I went to his profile on Instagram and I was just like, it said on his bio, uh, I, I, I want to be the first person to do an Ironman distance triathlon in Antarctica. Uh, the, wanting to be the first Iceman of Antarctica. That's what he called it. And I was like, well, that's pretty freaking daring and, and <laughs> yeah. like one of the craziest things I've ever heard. So I was just like, but I, you know, obviously yesterday I don't want to discount anybody's ideas. I, I, in my mind, I was like, this is pretty near impossible. There's yeah, a, reason that, like, no, there's a yeah. reason that nobody has ever done it before. But we, we, you know, we got on a FaceTime and there was just something right away that was like a fire in him that I, I, I knew that will, you know, no amount of ice will, will, will come in his way. So it's, uh, well, it's a pretty good line. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm I, gonna, know, I, I, I can't believe I haven't used that in any of the premieres. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why we do this. Uh, but yeah, we just like, uh, you know, and at the time it was such a, a crazy moment for Yes Theory. So much was happening on like, in, in the video side of things and the back end with the business so I didn't really know how we're gonna pull this off and actually help in any way I just knew the end of the story I wanted to support and then one moment on on a flight back to LA after filming an episode in Norway in London I had I had just remembered Anderson I end up telling my my partner Matt I was like oh do you remember this guy I think I told you about it. he wanted to do Iceman in Antarctica I end up FaceTiming him he he was walking out of a primary school that he was uh is speaking to about Ooh, the Iceman oh. about his journey and he was wearing Seek Discomfort which yeah. is you know our motto what we yes. live by and also our lifestyle brand and in that moment I was like this is a freaking sign I, I convinced Matt that we have to just change the route left like ditched our flight to LA gone on a flight to Copenhagen and, and within the span of the next 
two days, decided that Anders would be like the first ever sponsored uh, a human for, for, for seek discomfort and you know wanting to give him the platform to uh, through yes theory to be able to share his story because you know it's just what he what he had in mind and what he went through was was just absolutely monumental and 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 i felt like the people that have been tuning into our journey over the past years would really really enjoy uh and be inspired by his by his story which i think i would love to to hear from him oh! well, what was that like on his side well for real i mean that is exactly what yes theory is about and it must have been such an honor for you anders to be like whoa i'm gonna be the first okay that sounds cute what does that mean what, a movie <laughs> this is crazy like okay this to this to this because you know you're around my age haven't hit 30 yet you had a good job you had your own business and you were like wow, yeah yeah <laughs> I'm a fan, y'all. I really am a fan. Aww. You were like, you know what? Life has been cool, but I need more. And now I'm just going to push all the limits and do something from someone from Yes Theory is saying this is bad-ish. Like, how? <laughs> so, yeah, let, let's talk about what made you quit the real world life and focus on your heart. Um, oh, what a great way to put the question. Yeah, it's it's obviously it, it had been a long journey. I was 27 at the time uh, when, when I made like the decision. I had, you know, I think I'd come to a point where I had you know, you call the plan B, you had not pursued what you really want to do, but you've done all the things you're supposed to do, like getting an education, five years in business school, getting that prestigious job that everybody said you should do. And then I realized, okay, I've done all this, these things, but I'm, you know, this is not what I want to do, you know? And, and so I just realized, okay, I need to do that. So I quit my job the same week as I finished my master's degree and I started my own business. And that four months later, I had the idea of, of, of the Iceman, I think. You know, it was this crazy idea, and and I think it in in the end it was when people told me it was impossible that it made me reflect back on the previous crazy ideas I'd had when I was in my when I was a teenager, becoming a professional soccer player in my early twenties, starting my own business, and waiting all those years until doing so, and realizing the people telling me that I couldn't do the Iceman were people who had no experience with the cold water, they had no experience with doing triathlons or anything, and that had been the same throughout, uh, and I think that was just a tipping point for me, saying you know what. Uh, Limitations are only our perception of what is possible and oftentimes people don't have the foundation of knowing what is possible. And I wanted to set an example and show especially younger kids that we sh shouldn't always listen to what we are told we, uh, we can do or we can do. There's only We can only ourselves explore what our potential is. So uh, that became the message and drive of, of actually doing it. So then what has your family been saying and the friends that have been watching you like just be a businessman and all of a sudden you're like the ice man of the world, like doing craziest yeah. things. It's um, I think it's been pretty surreal. <laughs> Can you explain what the ice man is first for people yeah. who maybe okay. don't know? So, yeah. so the ice man is uh, a long distance triathlon. So it's a uh, 3.8 uh, kilometers. Uh, no, I'll say I say miles. And yeah. uh, so 2.4 <laughs> mile swim, uh, 112 mile bike ride and a uh, a marathon so 26.2 mile run but i just do it in you know sub zero degrees in the uh, in antarctica because that's never been done before never been done before so the so the whole idea was could i do something that had never been done before within the sport of uh, triathlon ironman in particular and i thought okay could i be the first person to do an ironman on a new continent but i was pretty late to the trend so antarctica was the only one remaining and that was where the <laughs> then idea came up not because i love the cold not at all but that became just the uh, the idea initially right <laughs> And how close have you guys had to work with doctors and nurses and just watching your physical body? Because that is not a normal thing for anyone. Not even the polar bears are doing this. So. Um, he worked with his brother. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think I think I'm a pretty DIY. Yeah, just go out and do it and test yourself. I think again, you you can listen so much to people about what's healthy or what's not, but in the end, you can only find out through experience, right? And obviously, oh. I didn't do the swim from one day to another, I went through a lot of cold water exposure to realize, okay, what is your body capable of and what is your mind capable of? And I think that's that's when people say, oh, how do you become mental tough? It is putting yourself through uh, tough times uh, and challenges. And that was what I did throughout in order to make uh, in order to make it happen in the end. It's so incredible. And I'm not to take anything away from you, but Amar, you were sitting in an ice bath for 30 minutes, like- 33. 33, oh, my bad, my bad, over 30 minutes. Like, what was that experience for you and your brain testing your body to your life? What are you thinking when you're just like, I don't want to be here, but... So, 
here's the interesting thing. I feel like I have a natural tendency to and love towards the cold. I have had a pretty life changing experience with Wim Hof, and you know what was it, January 2019, when we did that whole experience with him, and it really allowed me to see like the cold was my. He, Wim always says the cold is your teacher, and it and it really was. Like it allowed me to tap into a part of myself that I had never really been exposed to before. Uh, uh, both in regards to kind of opening opening up deeper deeper things in my childhood and my life before, but also in allowing me to see my own strength in a situation like this and my own resilience. Um, so I, I would say, and, and not to sound cocky or anything, but I would say I haven't really, like even in that 33 minute, that I, I don't think I have really pushed the limit yet on on how much I can do. But but what my, like, my takeaway from that is that actually, because I, I did that in Copenhagen with Anders when we went to film with him for the first time, but my takeaway was that Anders is actually not at all like Wim Hof. People think that Anders likes the cold, that he would, like, he finds the thrill in going into ice. He would, like, it would be, you know, 70 degrees in LA, and he would not want to be in the ocean for more than, like, you know, a few minutes because it's That's not really... That's cold water. California because, yeah, water yeah. is awesome. But, 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 but <laughs> yeah. yeah, when you think, like, the Iceman of the Poles, because he wasn't, he didn't just do an Iceman in Antarctica, he also has the world record for doing the northernmost triathlon ever completed, uh, which was in preparation for, you know, Antarctica, and it was in the film in, in Svalbard, mm -hmm. uh, northern, no, north of Norway. So it's like, you think of this guy and you think, oh, he's the toughest guy that will get into an ice bath and do all these, but he's, it's totally not. And and, and that's what, what I was talking about. Like, there was a fire in him that was so, that, that was even going to allow his body to do the most unnatural thing to him. Um, which is like be in the ice. He would, if he if it's up to him, he would be in, in like tropical places all day long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, so so yeah, for, you know, for me, I I almost feel like it would be like it would be more. I, I love the thrill of going into the ice. I would never mm -hmm. miss a chance on doing a polar pl plunge. But I also my my I'm I'm so inspired and and my my respect for his journey comes from my deeper understanding that he is not like me. He's not like Wim. <laughs> not not to put us both in, no, any, sure. in the same, but like. It doesn't come natural to him. Wow. Yeah. So then where does Antarctica's first Ironman runner go? Like what like what do you plan on doing? Have you thought about that? I'm sure you have, or how are you feeling? No spoilers, please. Yeah. No, no spoilers, because that's no spoilers. that's oh, the okay, film. Okay. <laughs> so um What am I doing next? Yeah. Well, uh Maybe you, you can talk about like I think the the Iceman what when people watch the film, people are going to realize that the Iceman was just uh, your way, your method of... I think it was me realizing that, you know, now I don't consider that I have any limits. So now it's just exploring, you know, doing whatever I want to do, regardless of what other, what, what other people think. And I hope it can inspire others to think the same about their own life. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of people, I think the beauty of, of the film we've created is that there are many ways that you can relate to it. It's a very human story. It's not about a superhuman at all. It's about an ordinary guy achieving something extraordinary that hopefully make you reflect on your life and saying, okay, if this guy can do something crazy as this, what can I do if I put my mind to it? Um, and I think that's 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 hopefully what what's going to be the outcome wow. of this film when you when you watch it. Yeah. Mars. Mars is the next step, I guess. Mars is the next step. <laughs> that was actually uh, April 1st. Like, April but 1st, I, mean, so. I can tell you something. Like, I think what, what he set out to do, which is in the final scene of the film, which uh -huh. he like shares, yeah, probably some people would say that going to Mars is probably a little bit more. I think the next project for me is, is way more difficult than, than <laughs> yes. this project. So, so, <laughs> well, that's yeah. what I was about to say. Yeah. People would say that going to Mars might be a little bit more, like it's comprehensible. Like yeah. you see how we can get there. But, but, but also that's the thing. Nobody saw the Iceman being completed. And I think the beauty of the film is that, which is, it was deliberate, the, 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 the last scene of the film is him just sharing what is it that he wants to do next, which should make people, it should, it should almost be, it would be like almost polarizing because at the end, it should almost make you be like, dude, that's impossible. But that was the whole point of the film is that being very, very careful of what is it that you tell other people when they share their dreams. When 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 they when they announce to the world what is it that they want to do what what is it that sets their, their soul on fire so it's almost like we we made that choice of having that be the final scene because it puts a mirror to any, everybody's watching like what are you gonna say to him saying telling you what is it that he that he has set out to you know has set out to do after you've seen him do already something that people told him was impossible so that's like I you know and and we've had such great feedback in that moment because it really it really made people kind of reflect on that of like mm -hmm. what's your first instinct when someone you know t tells you that they want to do something crazy
Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. I mean, congratulations to you both on Thank this you, incredible Crystal. journey. Congratulations. It's going to be in theaters. Yes. Um, and just December to- 4th and December 6th. In 158 theaters across the U.S. With, yeah, we did it as a in partnership with Cinemark. They were extremely gracious to you know this is this film we 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 were not we did it independent. This is just yes theory and four four thousand two hundred and twelve people from the community putting their money behind it. You know we we had a streaming offer for one point two five million dollars that we end up walking away from after the first production meeting because of just we just felt like the process that we were about to be a part of was not wasn't going to lend itself to the film that we really knew that could exist. Damn, which we, who turns away like we millions did. of dollars? We did, because yes. it, it just needed to live up to, to really what it what, what it needed to be and, and, and the message that, you know, there was so, we were already seeing how much it was going to be pulled away in different directions just because there were so many cooks in the kitchen. But we just knew that we had a community behind us that that wasn't just interested in the story. They would actually, they were interested in making sure that the story comes out to the world. And that's exactly what happened. And this tour that we just pulled off, there's no big partner, there's no big sponsor. It's just... The Yes Theory community and and all of the people that supported you know Anders' journey since since the beginning, uh, just you know coming through and, and making this happen. You know, going back to Cinemark, they you know they they very early on in the conversation they they we we started open seeing the potential of what it would look like to just ha- having have them help us distribute the film and you know having this be in 158 theaters around the U.S. where we make something so accessible to people and you know not just in big cities but in the middle of America has been has been a dream come true and uh, yeah I, if you if for everyone out there that wants to know how to actually find if there's a theater near them uh, make sure you go to I guess the easiest thing would be the S theory Instagram and the and the link in the just bio cinemark.com uh, backslash uh, cinemark.com backslash project iceman yeah and uh, yeah, you'll be able to put your zip your zip code, and it will tell you what's the nearest theater to you. Anders, do you think that Amar and the S Theory Boys did a good job at sharing your journey? Oh yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. I think uh, the film couldn't be better than what it is now, and I'm excited that that yeah that DM led to to us being here. It's been a it's been a long journey since, uh, but I'm. I'm so proud of the the film that we made in the end, and and the result. I mean, all the feedback we already received from the tour has been overwhelming. So I'm so excited for to finally share it with the world. Yeah. Well, two movie stars, Aww. biggest YouTubers, and I can't wait for you to to watch it. I cannot wait yeah. to watch it as well. December fourth. Yes, sure in theaters. There. I'm sure it's gonna be around here, right? Yes. Yes. Well, congratulations again. Thank you so much for teaching people that there is no limit, that you can seek discomfort and find pleasures of all around us from all the people that we interact with every day thank you so much for everything you thank do thank you so much thank you thank so you much for, for us, yeah. allowing us to go into your story and make sure you watch project iceman in theaters december 3rd and 4th yes fourth and six fourth, december 4th fourth and, and six, six. Yes. december 4th and 6th there you and go the icemanfilm.com for more information yeah from the top of the empire state building the 100